Thank you for choosing my channel once again. If it is your first time, you're most welcome. And, and please like, subscribe, go through the channel and watch all the other videos. If you're returning guests, thank you. You are the reason why I keep coming and creating more content because you give me the zeal and the energy. Please subscribe, like. If you have not subscribed before, subscribe. Like the videos, share them and drop me a comment in this comment section. Now we are going to talk about dealing with stingy men. Dealing with stingy men uh, in, in the marriages, in the relationships. How do you handle a stingy man as a woman? Now women are meant to give, to be given. They may be having, they also give, but they are meant to be given. When you're making those vows, you say everything I have, I will share with you, I will give to you. But when the marriage finally comes, when that is sometimes in that mature relationship, the giving stops. The man becomes stingy. He can never buy you a gift. He can never buy anything uh, that, that is, a, you know, he considers luxury. He can't buy you an extra bag. For you to buy an extra dress, it is even a crime. Stingy men will even want to control how you spend your own money. Now, before we look at the, the causes why men become stingy and how to solve it, I want to share with you one of my healthy remedies. Now, this one, <clears throat> I will not show you the brand, but it is called psyllium husk. This is a packet of psyllium husk. Now, psyllium husk, they are husks. They are made from a very healing plant. It is a very strong fiber which enters into our colon and sweeps, sweeps all that hard stuff, sweeps all, all the organisms that are unwanted, the things that cause uh, the face to break out with pimples, the things that cause people to smell bad from the armpit and from the, from the mouth. It washes those things out. The viruses, the bacteria that dwell in there, this is a must have in your home. It's a must have. It's a fiber. It helps you with digestion. It helps with bulging stomachs, the stomachs which swell and there is always gas and, and you know, they're always grumbling. It does help. It even helps you with other colon, uh, deadly colon sicknesses. It may help you overcome those cancers of the, col of the colon. And so let's be healthy. These days, life is not so easy. It's so difficult. And another one that you must have on a daily basis, this is oats. This is oats porridge. Okay. I've just boiled it. Look at it. It has that uh, slippery element. For those of you who are having digestion issues, this is oats. And so make sure you have a bowl of oats once in a while. And uh, you will thank me after that. We go back to stingy men. Characteristics of stingy men. An extra dress is a luxury. An extra pair of shoes is a luxury. An extra handbag is wastage of money. They want to count how many kilos of kosher you eat in the home. They want to measure the rice that is, 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 is cooked. They want to even count the, the fingers of matoke that you must cook. They will complain about salt, about cooking oil, about soap. Anything in the house that is being used, no matter how well you're budgeting as a woman, they will still complain. That is stingy men. They don't give money. They don't give any extra. As for me, when we go to the shop, however much money that is given, the balance is always mine. My husband knows I collect the balance. When he gives me money, he doesn't ask for balance. When he gives me money, it must be extra. If my token is 20,000, I must have 50,000. Now, those times when we didn't have, if my token was 1,000, we are buying fingers, he makes it 1,500. So that when I go and there is something I forgot, I can pick it. However small, even if it is 100 for one tomato, he will make sure that I have that. Kudos to Mr. Mwesiji. I don't take you for granted. And so stingy men, they will give you the exact amount. They will ask for balance. They will complain about the, the, the shop that you went to. They will tell you you shouldn't have gone to Nakawa, you should have gone to Kaleri. You know, even when the transport difference is covering for the price differences, they will still want you to go 
to the cheaper shops. Why are men stingy? Why are some men stingy? And what can we do to overcome their stinginess? Sometimes men become stingy because the woman is extravagant. You will agree with me there are women who don't mind how they spend the money in the home. They will just peel matoke, they are always pouring matoke in the dustbin, cooked food is remaining, they don't supervise the maid, and so food is wasted. And when the man sits down to look through his expenditures, he will find that the money he's spending on food is too much. Now, when it becomes too much, of course, he will have to regulate. Now, we don't call that a stingy man. Stingy men, they measure. They follow. Even when there is not enough to eat, they will still say you wasted food. Now, some men, reason of the background to stinginess, some men have come from a very poor background where things were always measured, measured, measured. And so they carry that trait in their own marriages, and they want to manage their wives as their mother was managed. So they calculate the salt, they quarrel about cooking oil, they fight for the matchbox, everything they are fighting. So stingy men can either be, it is carried from their home, it's a baggage that he has come with in this relationship, in the marriage, that he has carried of being stingy. Number two, some men are stingy because they are emotionally poor. Someone can have so much money, but once they are poor, he will keep renting, but keep money in the bank. Or if he builds and he can even decide to be walking to work or, or using motorcycles or anything, even when he can afford a car, to him, it will look like a luxury. And so stingy men, they would rather keep money in the bank, not give to anyone, not even spend on themselves. They actually don't spend on themselves. They're just too stingy. They keep that little money. Sometimes stingy men are stingy because the woman they are married to is stingy. Now, don't expect a man to give you. If he knows that you're working, you never support him in, in paying some bills. You never help him when things are hard. He has to go and borrow money, come and take care of the home. When you yourself is busy keeping your money in the bank or doing secret projects. I know of one man that uh, they shared, uh, they talked about he was working, struggling, having little money, but he would spare money every month for the wife to supervise work on a site they have just built. Now, this woman, instead of supervising this site only, he would divide the money and then he put up rentals for, for herself somewhere else. So the house took five years. Eventually, when the house was finished, one of the workers told this, this man that, he, hey, congratulations, building two uh, projects at the same time. And the man was shocked to find that the woman used to divide the money, put up her secret apartments, uh, rental units, as she was building this. Now, some men will be stingy because the woman is not a good woman, is stingy, doesn't share, doesn't disclose, wants the man only to okay, foot the bills, buy the food, pay full fees, buy you clothes and do all these other things. Men can be stingy because you are not giving him as well. So stinginess can be as a result of a baggage that he has come with, can be circumstances. Maybe he gave out a lot and he has been frustrated, so he decides he's not going to give money to anyone. Maybe he's giving to the woman and she's taking him for granted, so he decides he's not going to give. Oh, you yourself, you, you, you're stingy. And so when you're stingy, you get your match. You also become stingy. And so what do we do when we find we are in a relationship with a stingy man? Number one, check yourself. Are you sharing enough? Are you being supportive of your husband or the, the relationship you're in? Are you being supportive or you want to keep your money and you want him to pay? What is your character? Are you fun to hang around? Because men will release money to any woman that makes them happy. So do you really, is this man finding you fun and good to hang around? The moment you're not fun, the moment you're not good to hang around, this man will not give you anything. He will not mind. So check yourself. What kind of person are you? If you're good, the man is going to release the pockets. If you do everything you're supposed to do, and he has finally remained stingy. Just be calm.
they come, produce the number of children you know you can take care of without complaining, make your own money, and let Kama come after him. I thank you so much for all those women who are surviving in stingy uh, relationships with stingy men. One day, and pray, God can change that person to start releasing something good to you. I pray that we'll meet again in another video. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. Bye for now.